SCP-100. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-100 is to have six personnel patrolling the interior of the perimeters, fencing, and two guards dedicated to the monitoring the interior and exterior of the both warehouses and the residential building, with rotations to occur every three hours. Any unauthorized personnel found within SCP-100 are to be detained for questioning prior to anesthetic administration and release. Three guards are to remain within the storefront of 100 with rotations to every eight hours. Storefront entrance is to remain locked at all times with the keys provided to necessary personnel. Private property and no trespassing signs are to be posted in the front of the store to deter any drivers from stopping at 100. Any construction con constructs SCP-100-1 created are to be removed from 100 and melted down into slag, with the exception of 102-A and 102-B. Should 100-1 become uncooperative, SCP-102-A and SCP-102-B may be removed from 100 until the time that SCP-100-1 becomes cooperative again. The largest of the two warehouses within SCP-100 has been converted into a basic research facility. All objects created by 100-1, excluding 100-2-A and 100-2-B, may be used for research purposes. Testing 100-1 itself may be conducted with the written permission from acting head researcher. Description. 100 is an abandoned scrapyard 80 kilometers from Redacted, South Carolina, known as Jamaican Joe's Junkyard Ghibli. The scrapyard covers roughly 5,000 square meters of fenced-off land, consisting of two warehouses, a storefront, and a small residential building, as well as a neglected land and land used for storage. 100 holds roughly 1,500 vehicles, both pressed and unpressed, as well as roughly 1,400 kilograms of scra uh, separate scrap, estimated to be worth $5,000. 3,870 uh, pounds. 100 anomalous effect manifest in SCP-101 as constructs including 102A and 102B. Autonomy is lost when 101 and one of the objects cross the fence. Perimeter of 100 remaining to the state until reinforced. A reintroduction. 101 is an autonomous, sapient, humanoid construct consisting of mostly copper piping and uninsulated copper wiring and aluminum cans. 101 lacks the ability for written or verbal communication, however, it possesses the ability to communicate using rudimentary sign language. 101 is largely un uninterested in conversation outside of sales, and information gathered from it has been limited. 101 appears to possess skill and craftsmanship, demonstrating their ability to operate tools such as in arc welding drills and power saws, as well as heavy machinery such as car and compressed and forklifts. 101 possesses the ability to create autonomous construction similar to itself, using material available within 100. 101 tends to create four specific animals, iguanas, crocodiles, turtles, and flamingos. However, 101 has been known to craft other species, such as domestic pets, to maintain compliance. 101 has been allowed to keep two objects labeled 102A and 102B. 102A and 102B are constructs of superficially resembled insects that seem to be created by 100 to be have occupied 100 since the initial discovery of 100. The names Ramon and Beatrice are welded into the back of 102A and 102B, respectively. They appear to operate as both companions as well as guards for 100. They patrol the perimeter of 100 except during the intervals of interaction of 101. 101 appears to follow a ritualistic schedule, repeating the same actions daily. From 800 hours to 1500 hours, 101 enters the storefront of 100, seating itself behind a counter and attempting a bargain with any humans within the storefront. Occasionally, 101 returns to the yard prematurely for reasons unknown. From 1500 to 1600 hours, 101 interacts with the 102A and 102B, communicating using vague hands and arm gestures. Interaction tends to consist of grooming, repairing, and activities resembling fetch and hide and seek. From 1600 hours to 200 hours, 1600 hours to 2000 hours, SCP-101 performs various tasks, including taking stock of material within 100, cleaning and maintaining tools and heavy machinery, and cleaning the interiors and exteriors of the building present from SCP-100. From 200 hours to 100 hours, 101 performs what is assumed to be a leisurely acts, ranging from creating new contracts, interacting with 102A and 102B, and patrolling 100. From 100 hours to 800 hours, SCP-101 enters the residential residential building, where it remains seated at the desk for the duration of this time. In the event that a human enters the storefront, 100 during the interval time, 101 is seated behind the counter, 101 will attempt to bargain with them, using a variety of gestures to convey a meaning. Most attempts by 101 are to sell scrap figures of its own creation or repair services. However, it has been known to purchase scrap despite 101's inability to read, it possesses the ability to perform basic mathematics, and demonstrated by sales. Sales made by 101 are typically met with a degree of unfairness. 101 has been known to initially use faulty scales and contaminated scrap piles and cheaper metals, and has demonstrated knowledge of the area effect within 100. As 101 is sold constructs repeatedly despite the loss of autonomy when exiting 100. Efforts to 
confront 101 about have been met with both distress and indifference, which referred to the signpost on the walls reading, no refunds mod. Happening regardless of 101's emotional response. 100 was discovered in November 9th, 1976, following regards of strange mechanical operatings within the scrapyard. These rumors were discredited as urban legends, and a foundation agent was sent to 100 to act as the landowner until containment was performed and the guy's property sale. Wooden privacy fence was built upon the former perimeter of 100. One way windows were installed in the storefront, and a highway now running through the nearby town of Blank, redacted, redirects the majority of civilian traffic. Addendum 100A. Recordings show the property owned by one Joseph Duval and the mailing address sharing the same name. Local utility companies report billing had stopped approximately three months before the discovery of 100, which was found abandoned save for 101, 102A, and 102B. Several Avion K9 figures, presumed to be made by 101, the initial sweep of the buildings revealed the residential buildings are mostly bare. The only sign of former occupants being note found taped to the door of the storefront. See Addendum 100A. On 6-3-2005, SCP-101 created a humanoid ontominous construct 10 centimeters in height, and the first time 101 has done so. Significant effort was put into the construct compared to the others. The greater detail applied to the construct, including facial gestures and JJ welded into the back of the construct. Stainless steel making the majority of the construct, 101 placed in the construct in the counter at the storefront the duration and schedule integral, both using vague gestures to seemingly communicate with one another. Following the confiscation of this construct, 101 remained seated within the residential building of SCP-100 for a total of 10 days. Document 100A. The following was a copy of the note recovered upon the discovery of a 100. Out to lunch. Please see Assistant JJ.